Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Adamant Algorithm. This is Serene. In today's video, we are going to see how to create um, uh, infinite scrolling background. Uh, so we will use not more than two background images and we will loop them seamlessly and the player cannot tell that the same image is being looped again and again. Uh, this is very efficient for creating a background scroll for uh, games like um, Endless Runners uh, and also it's very efficient on the memory of the game. Uh, I'm gonna quickly play this and you guys will understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, see, there is one image is going to end and as you can see it's seamlessly looped okay back again so the same image is being recycled again and again and the player will be uh, the player will never run out of uh, the background okay uh, so this is the effect they are we are looking at so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna quickly clean up my um, whole scene so it will be easy for you guys to uh, follow from the scratch I'll be back in a jiffy okay here we go this scene is nice and clean so when I press the play button you know nothing is happening I just have only the player script attached so this ship will be moving up left and right uh, and nothing else there is no fancy stuff attached to this and I'm in the middle of uh, creating some other projects so I quickly thought okay let me go go ahead with this tutorial so now what I'm gonna do is I do have one background image okay first of all I need to make sure that this background moves okay uh, well basically this is a technique if this is the background and this is our ship okay so moving the background slowly in downward direction makes it, it, it simulate a look that our uh, the player the the aircraft is actually moving forward okay it's a normal illusion so what we're gonna do is instead of moving this character uh, we are going to move the background uh, slowly so let's go ahead and do that um okay so i'm gonna attach a script quickly to that and i'm gonna say bg scroll okay create an ad okay so i think it's done now i'm gonna open it in my ide Let me make it bigger for you so the first thing i would need is i need to mention the scrolling speed so i'm gonna have a public uh, float variable called speed and I'm gonna set it to 4f for now and I also I need a vector 3 component I call it um, start position okay that's it so in the start I need to refer this start position is equal to the current uh, transform value of my background image which is wherever it is at the starting of the game where my BG would be okay in the update I'm gonna just move it downwards so I'm gonna say transform dot translate in what direction vector 3 dot down okay into time speed oops sorry times time dot delta time so there we go so this should essentially move my background downwards let's take a look whether this works compilation is finished let's see okay it's cool everything is fine and there we go this is a problem we are going to address okay the the player is running out of the background so if we take a look at the logic behind this so that the logic is imagine this is our window our camera view and this is our background it's like this at the moment okay so when it start moving down stay uh, I'm sorry it's starting moving down what happens is it's gonna eventually uh, run out of the background so if when our background reaches this position this is the camera so it's almost at the end okay what we're gonna do is when a background reaches this stage we are going to loop it back to the current position where it was okay when this comes down and reaches at the bottom we're going to loop it back this is exactly what we are going to do so for that we need to understand when at what position it would be at the end of our camera okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a duplicate of this it says bg1 and i don't need the script for the duplicate so I'm going to create this as put the, uh, put that one as the child and I'm going to move it a bit down with a gap 
so that I can see where is exactly it's going to be. Uh, see the the one which is selected now the child that's a dummy one because that's gonna fill up the space when the looping is happening okay only for that purpose we have a duplicate of it um, so I'm gonna click play I'm gonna watch closely where the first background is going to end okay I have passed it so I'm gonna just go frame by frame okay there we go so in here as you can see the this is the original background it's almost at the near of ending okay so we need to go ahead and see select the original background and go here and watch out what is the position 14.26 okay let me go quickly minus 14.26 so this is the stage where i will perform the looping okay so if the background goes any way down below than 14.26 loop it so that's essentially our logic so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back in here and i'm going to write a condition say if transform dot uh, position dot y why why because you know it's a downward direction that obviously it's minus y if it goes beyond below 14.26 f then what we need to do reset the position we already know the starting position is saved inside the variable start position so we're gonna say transform dot position is equal to start position so what this does is the moment our original BG goes any value below minus 14.26 the position of it is reset to the same place where it was at the starting of the game and this happens again and again because it's in update function okay so let's go ahead and see whether this works or not and before that I'm gonna go in luckily for in this background can you see it's a it's almost very similar there are two star one star there one star is here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna oops sorry what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the second one and move it closely in such a way okay those things are yep so now there is you can't you shouldn't see any seam I don't see any seam so let's let's go ahead and play this game and check whether it is looping or not watch closely for any stutters okay I don't see any problem so far everything is cool okay so this technique works most of the time and it's just a couple of lines it's very light on the memory you don't have to worry about anything and we have achieved an infinite scrolling background with just using a couple of lines of code okay and obviously um, we are just using just two pieces of the BG duplicated and one thing for sure if you are using free aspect okay this technique will never work you guys know if you have been working in unity free aspect is completely prohibited because it changes according to the screen size and monitor size and if you export your game that would never work for any of the target devices so make sure that you guys have your camera fix it before you try this um, I mean before you do this all right so hope this would be helpful guys if you have come across um, if you have come until this in this video I think you like the content of this channel and the video and please do subscribe and please do support and I will make sure I will come back with a lot of amazing short tutorials for you guys uh, for unity 2d and 3d um, anyway thank you very much uh, enjoy your time all right have a nice one bye bye